Today's story is called Writing in Ancient Egypt. Once in a while, Moret, uh, this is Moret, accompanied her father while he went fishing. Late one night, Moret and her father returned from a long day of fishing on the Nile River. They were both exhausted from being out in the hot sun all afternoon and relieved to be back on the banks of the river. Moret's mother was waiting for them along the shore. When she saw Moret, she scooped the tired girl up and gave her a huge hug. I will sing you your bedtime song as we walk home, she told Moret. Moret nodded, wearily or tiredly, looking up at her mother. When her mother finished singing the beautiful song, Moret asked curiously, Mother, how did you learn that song? I learned it from my mother, who learned it from her mother, Moret's mother replied. I learned everything I need to know by listening to my mother. I will teach you everything you need to know, and I hope that you will be able to listen well. I will, Moret answered. But isn't there another way to pass on information? Well, yes, Moret's mother answered. The kings and scribes know how to draw symbols called hieroglyphics that represent the words we say. Then, someone else can come along and read these symbols much later and understand exactly what was written. But why would we need to write things down when we can just pass them along by talking, Moret asked. Sometimes, messages need to be carried by messengers over very long distances, Moret's mother explained. And in the time it took to travel great distances, the messengers sometimes forgot the messages or some of the words got mixed up when they tried to repeat them. That is not so good, Moret exclaimed. Then the person could get the wrong message. Exactly, Moret's mother continued. However, when the message is written down, there's no chance that the messenger will forget the message or get it mixed up. This is one reason why reading and writing are so important. We Egyptians decided it was important to write things down accurately, without any mistakes. That seems like a good idea, <laughs> Idea, Moret agreed. So writing things down using symbols helps messengers deliver the correct message. But are there other things that writing is used for? Many things, Moret's mother said. Writing is used so that the important things that happen will be remembered for a long, long time. It is how we can look back and remember things that happened before we were even alive. Wow, Moret said in amazement. Her mother continued. So we write to record our history, but we also use it to write down laws that everybody should follow. We use these symbols to write down stories, poems, and even songs. Like the beautiful song you always sing to me, mother, Moret inquired. Yes, the song I sing to you every night has been written down so that it will be remembered forever, Moret's mother answered, smiling. That is good, Moret said. I like that song. She paused and then asked, So the carvings on the stones of the temples are a form of writing? Yes, her mother replied. People also paint or write on wood or papyrus. The messengers I told you about earlier normally take messages written on papyrus. Papyrus is a plant that we use to make paper. We cut it into thin strips and press it together, and then it dries, and it makes a smooth writing surface. Oh, good, said Moret. I'd imagine that stone would be quite heavy for a messenger to carry. Moret's mother laughed as well, and then said, But now, my dear, it is time for you to sleep. We are finally home. Will you sing me the song one more time? Moret asked as they went inside. Moret's mother nodded and then began singing. Before she was even done, Moret was fast asleep. Mm. Moret's favorite song had been written down using hieroglyphics, an ancient Egyptian form of writing. In, in ancient Egypt, kings, scribes, priests, and craftsmen were some of the few people who understood the meaning of the symbols. The hieroglyphics or single picture symbols were used instead of letters and words that we have in English to communicate and write down important messages, laws, songs, and stories, so that they would be remembered for many years to come. It wasn't until hundreds of years later that the word hieroglyphics was given to this was given to name this form of writing. Okay, Mackenzie, that's the end of your story today.